what are the other activities of disulfiram in the human body? You have mentioned it's anti-inflammatory. We know that it inhibits the aldehyde or acetaldehyde dehydrogenase. Is it aldehyde dehydrogenase? Yeah, but that's not a good thing <laughs> because they will have a lot of acetaldehyde accumulation. Acetaldehyde accumulation causes a lot of pain. That is the reason why you know it, it is having a lot of side effects. It's not a, a you know very good thing. Uh, it's not, not like a walk in the park, as Dr. Kenneth Lehner puts it very nicely. It's tough. It's because uh, more and more acetaldehyde accumulates in our body. Uh, it, it by itself it causes a lot of pain. That's why uh, people have a lot of problem. We think it changes a lot of signaling mechanism. In fact. My lab people are currently studying that, especially um, infected animals. The neurotransmitter changes in infected animal is slightly different. In fact, we can even call it a drastically different when compared to those animals are in disel from uh, without infection. You know, dopamine level is going to be altered when the animals are in disel from. These neurotransmitter changes are likely to uh, be the causative agent for the, some of the side effects they are facing. It's not going to be very smooth. The reason for that is about 19 uh, aldehyde dehydrogenases we have, and the, most of these aldehyde dehydrogenases, they're extremely important to detoxify. The typical example is acetaldehyde, generated from ethyl alcohol, and the acetaldehyde need to be converted into acetate, which is non-toxic. For people who take disulfiram, from, it stays in acetaldehyde level. They have more acetaldehyde all over the body. But acetaldehyde itself will cause a lot of uh, pain. The red flesh people observe in some of the Asian community, it is because they have a mutation in aldehyde, one of the aldehyde dehydrogenase that causes them the accumulation of acetaldehyde in their body and then they get this red flesh. So generally they avoid alcohol because of this problem. It, it's not a very uh, kind side effect. It's a very, very uh, uh, stressful side effect. So you do have a uh, lot of side effects because of uh, from As I mentioned, there are the pathological protein that is upregulated that can cause a lot of disease. Those proteins are coming to normal because of from. So it's kind of, uh, uh, you know, use and also the side effects. Which one? The benefit versus side effects. It appears, uh, at least in our preclinical model, the benefits are overweighing the side effects. And again, uh, my my observ I'm not a clinician. You know, you are a clinician. You need to advise people not by just watching this kind of uh, educational and informative videos. How quickly does the disulfiram have the ability to bring down that neuroinflammation, the pathological proteins that you described? Is that something uh, that happens fast? Yes, we, we saw, like, when we checked that, uh, both in indication animal, we saw uh, within about uh, eight hours exposure, or, you know, like uh, one day exposure, we do see a very good effect. Do you know if that effect would likely be occurring at the, at the low dosages? Because most patients on disulfiram are starting at very low dosages. Or do you think that would only likely occur at the higher end of the dosage? No, no. Uh, Disel from anti-inflammatory activities and also reversing some of the pathological protein uh, expression, it occurs in pretty low concentration. You need not have a very high concentration for that. Well, so far, I'm on disulfiram right now, and my own personal experience has been I, I tend to get worse when I'm on it, why that would be happening if, it's, if it supposedly activates these anti-inflammatory pathways. Uh, maybe you are very uh, sensitive to acetaldehyde production. Uh, maybe acetaldehyde causing more uh, stress for you when compared to other people. 
do you have any recommendation on how to try to bring down the acetaldehyde in the body? I know some people are using something called dihydromericetin. Anything else that you can think of that might help with that? I cannot advise anything on it. People wanted to find out what to take uh, as a supplement or uh, some other therapy to bring down uh, acetaldehyde. They can consult their clinician. What are the major activities of disulfiram in the human body? It's, it seems to be anti-inflammatory, inhibits aldehyde dehydrogenase. It stops the dopamine breakdown, right? So it, it boosts dopamine by inhibiting. That's correct. Because of the dopamine increase, uh, people do feel kind of very different uh, in uh, when they are in disulfiram. That's one thing. And another thing uh, is uh, people also use disulfiram to prevent the cocaine addiction. Not only alcohol addiction, people use it very effectively. So the way I'm feeling in my mood and my perception of the world, it could be being altered by, by the dopamine changes. It could not be partly that. It doesn't have to necessarily all be inflammation. Or That's correct. Yes. Is there anything about foods that are high in polyphenols that you think is contraindicated? Any food which is having uh, alcohol in them, it's big no. Sometimes these plant foods, to enrich the polyphenol, they lead, uh, they either have alcohol in them or uh, they just use it as a fermented product. Many of the soya sauce are fermented product, actually. So you have a lot of alcohol in that. So people are on disulfiram, they are supposed to avoid the alcoholic, any form, you know, fermented, anything fermented, they are uh, supposed to avoid. I would avoid uh, those kind of uh, polyphenol if they suspect they have an alcohol content in them. If someone used red wine in cooking, but then they cooked the red wine, do you think that would be a problem? Yes, of course. There is nothing like you can totally remove the ethyl alcohol, the content of red wine from the food. In fact, the aroma you get is because there is still a lot of alcohol there. Some people are taking like, some, they have tinctures of certain supplements that they use and they, they think that if they boil the water that the alcohol will all evaporate and then they won't have any alcohol left. Is that, your, is your understanding that that doesn't remove all the alcohol? I mean, it reduces alcohol because alcohol get evaporated, uh, but uh, it is not eliminating alcohol because alcohol form very good azeotropic mixture with water. So still you are likely to have some alcohol, enough alcohol to cause a lot of discomfort in these patients. I did want to quickly ask about EGCG and green tea extract. We brought this up last time, I think. Do you have any insight? Because EGCG and green tea are very powerful anti-inflammatories. And I, since I've had to stop the EGCG, I've noticed worsening in some of my symptoms. And I'm just wondering... You know, are we sure that EGCG or green tea is contraindicated for disulfiram usage, um, or is it, or do you not know much about that? I don't know about much about it. I myself published papers with curcumin, and the anti-inflammatory effect is just dramatic, especially uh, inflammation related to extracellular matrix. Curcumin is the best because they get a very good absorption. Delivering curcumin is a huge problem. When you learn how to deliver it through oraling, then if it gets into the blood, then most of them are taken in um, in the red blood cells. And let us say somehow you can manage to get it to the tissue. I think it's the best molecule to uh, for an anti-inflammation molecule. It's, we have over the counter 